Yeah, hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz. Now, I was streaming last night and somebody asked me what was decent in the store that you could think about buying. Now, that got me thinking. So I played the tanks on the stream and then I thought, ah, I'll do a video as well. And the first one I want to deal with is this little beastie. The American Tier 8 Heavy, the Chrysler K. Now, this is currently in the store. For 7,500 gold, with all the equipment unlocked, with a garage slot, with the avatar and with the camo. But is it worth it? Well, actually, yes it is. I mean, this isn't a bad Tier 8 Heavy. It's a really good side scraper. It's got some decent armor. It has a low profile, pretty nice gun, dishes out a good amount of damage in a really nice reload time. And you can have a lot of fun in it. Okay. It does have its downsides. Of course it does. All tanks have their downsides. But this thing is a rather balanced heavy tank. Okay, it hasn't got the gun depression. What with it being a rear mounted turret. But you don't need gun depression all the time. I mean, when you're on a map like Himmelsdorf, gun depression is pretty bloody useless. But it does have perks and pros. And one of those perks and pros is for good mobility. Pretty decent gun. And pretty nice armor, let's be honest with you. I mean, like I said, it's one of those American tanks, one of those very strange American tanks that you can actually side scrape in. And for the current price, you're actually getting a pretty decent tank and a unique tank. I mean, it's the only American tank that is a rear mounted turret. And whilst rear mounted turrets take some getting used to, this one is pretty, pretty noob friendly. It's not that difficult. As I said, I mean, okay, it lacks gun depression, but you don't always need gun depression when you've got side scraping abilities that you've got in this thing. You can push when you wanna push, you've got pretty decent alpha output, you've got a decent reload, and you've got really nice mobility. I like this tank. And for the price, with all the equipment unlocked, the, the attachments, the avatar, the garage slot, and the, and the camo, you are getting quite a good deal. And did I mention it's a bloody good credit earner? No, well, I have now. And that's the thing. So again, like I said in my previous video on a T34, which is a tech tree premium, this one isn't, it comes in the store every now and then. It's currently in the store for quite a decent amount of cash, i.e. gold. Okay, you can get it as part of a bundle with the IS-2SH. Again, another nice tank, another rear mounted, but standalone, this one's gonna cost you next to nothing, realistically. I mean, just over 7,000 gold, where can you go wrong? Well, not many places, to be fair. So I recommend this tank. I think it's a nice tank, I like it. Well, but it's not for everybody. What else do we have in the store? Well, we also have this little beastie, the SU-130PM, which is a tier eight Russian TD. Similar to the Scorpion G, but not the Scorpion G, basically. Now, I've always struggled in this tank, to be honest with you, preferring the Scorpion G, but it's growing on me. Now, you can get this tank individually, or more intriguingly, you can get this as part of a bundle that includes a tier nine heavy, the K91. Now, you can get that for 15,000 gold, and you're getting two pretty decent tanks there, or you can get them individually for 8,500, as you see here. Problem is, for 15,000, you're getting two decent tanks, a tier nine and a tier eight, with all the equipment unlocked, a shitload of boosters, the garage slots, and everything else. So it's actually worth getting the bundle. But what are you getting in that bundle? Well, you're getting one of these first and foremost. A pretty decent, tricky, not overly noob friendly tank destroyer. The Russian equivalent to the Scorpion G. It's got good mobility. It's got a pretty decent gun. Okay, it does suffer from Russian gunner on occasion. The aim time takes a bit of time to come down. And of course, it's paper thin. You can see it's paper thin and a well aimed and well timed HE round will certainly make you scratch your head in wonder when you're sat in the garage. However, I didn't used to like this tank, as I said, preferring the Scorpion G but it is growing on me, it's warming on me, and I'm starting to like it a bit more. And when people ask me to play it in the stream, I always say, oh, I'm really notoriously bad in it, and then I happen to pull out a pretty decent game. 
And I'm not saying this is a decent game. It's not a decent game by any... It's, it's okay. I mean, God, there's that Russian gunner. He comes around every now and then. No doubt his vodka ration is being cut, which is really annoying. But for the price, 8500 for a TD, a tier 8. Yeah, well, this came in crates initially, so you're actually getting a pretty good deal on that. But it, part of the bundle of 15000 where you're getting two tanks then it's worth looking into, to be honest with you. And we'll look at the K91 in a moment, but don't think, oh, I'll just get this tank on its Todd, because personally, it's not worth it on its own unless you're a tank collector, and you desperately want that, that kind of tank. I mean, 8,500, we've seen you can get better tier 8 heavies for lower price, but for 15,000, you're saving 3,500 gold, and you're getting a tier 9, and you're getting all the equipment unlocked, etc, etc. And that is the thing. When you buy this rate 1500, you're not getting the equipment or anything else. You're just getting a tank and a garage slot. So if you're going to get it, get it as part of the bundle. And this also comes in that bundle. It is an auto loader. It is the K91. It's a Russian tier 9 heavy tank. And you know what? When this first came out, it was like, uh, it's okay, it's it's a little bit nice, but it's okay, there are some downsides. But you know, I've played it more and more since, and it's a beautiful tank. The reload, actually, for the autoloader isn't that long. Now, when it first came out, it seemed excessively long, but now it's manageable. It's, it's got okay gun depression, to be fair, it's not brilliant, and it's actually got a good turn of speed, pretty decent armor, and a great rate of fire. And this is, we're in a tier 10 game here. And okay, somebody killed him before I can get there. But I'm going to give this object uh, 263 a bit of a hard time now. Now, the object 263 frontly has always been notoriously difficult to pen. Bounce him there and then knock his bottom plate. Okay, the Fosh is going to get in the way, but I'm going to hit him again, knock him down to 1 HP. Of course, that's what you do. And this is what I like about the K91. The gun actually is really nice. You've got good mobility, good armor, a good little auto loader that's dishing out a fair amount of damage. And to load the entire clip doesn't take that long. I mean, not really in real terms compared to some of them. I mean, some of them take a long time. This one is okay. Okay, into rounds, three odd seconds seems a long time, but compared to the Ice 3 Defender, it's actually quite nice. And it takes just under 15 seconds to load that entire magazine. I like this tank. Now again, you can get this as a standalone for 10,000 gold. But the thing is, you're not getting the equipment unlocked and that's gonna cost you credits and a lot of credits, it's a tier nine. You don't get the avatar and you don't get anything else. Go for the bundle guys and you're getting two pretty decent tanks. Anyway, that's been my take on what I would look at in the store right now. By all means, comment and like below. I've been Fujit, that has been the Chrysler K, the SU-130 and the K91. Until the next time, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking, because that is what it's all about, having fun and being happy.